you went off on when your, you, your kids' I hit the, baseball thing well, I'm, what I'm have you. I'm looking so. for a laptop, so I, I, I got to help you guy out, right? Yeah. That's what we got to do. So I'm ready whenever you are. You're, you're live. I'm live right now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cap, for giving me that warning. Hey, guys, I'm Terrence from Computer Cons here with Computers Plus, located at 3330 Cobb Park, which will be 154 in Accra, Georgia. We also have a location in Carsville, 900 North Tennessee Street in Carsville, Georgia, and in Kennesaw, 3473 Cherokee Street in Kennesaw, Georgia. So three locations to help serve you and your tech needs. Think, talking about needs, we were talking about vetting, and, and Computers Plus has been in business for now 14 years. And we take pride in being able to help our customers get through their technology fears and their woes and just their problems. And, and so we like being there for you guys. And that's why we like to call ourselves tech concierge because we know that each person is different and they have different needs and different people. And sometimes businesses, the businesses definitely have, diff have different needs. So we cater to each person's tech needs. And we were talking about vetting. And there are a lot of great companies out there in Georgia. We aren't the only one out there in Georgia um, saving the world one computer at a time. There are other companies out there. Um, some signs that you should do before you think about taking your computer to, another, to a company, any company, doesn't matter, is make sure that you write down, because it's so much more easier, if you write down everything that's going on with your computer. I know sometimes when we come you know, we get all these things going through our heads and we're just trying to figure out what's going on. This part, do I gotta pick up the kids, do I have to do this, do I have to do that? And we come in and we don't tell everything that's going on with the computer because we've experienced that in the past. And we tell customers, hey, you know what? Write it down. If you could write everything down that you're having with being done with or that's going wrong with your computer, that lets us better assess your problem. Because if we miss information, then, then you know, then, because we miss things too. So, you know, we're not perfect. We miss things, um, and if we're not told as far as what the problem is, um, then we can possibly miss it. Um, if it's something that could be software related when you're using a certain program, so tip is write everything down that you need done to your computer. Two is look at the company that you're sending it to. Bet the company. Bet the people that's working with it. And if you got that feeling that that person may be not as reliable as you are because we're open six days a week we're open Saturdays for special occasions but Sundays. Make, Sundays, Sundays I'm sorry Sundays we're open Saturdays thank you Kat and that's why I have Kat because she helps correct me when I get off script so um, someone give her a cookie okay so, <laughs> Cheetos. it's too early in the morning Cheetos you want Cheetos I'll take Cheetos right you'll now. take Cheetos if you if it's eleven thirty it's not that early if you if you happen to be around Ackworth Cop Parkway, bring some Cheetos in for Cat, and I guarantee you she's gonna hook you up with a great deal, right? Probably. I thought her Deshaun's gonna steal. <laughs> <laughs> so vet the company that you're looking at. You know, see how long they've been in business, and that's not always a barometer, Cat, for how long you've been in business. Because we remember Simply Mac; they were in business for 13 years and just shut their doors. And I, my heart, our heart went out to every customer out there. Because, you know, well, the, not even just customers, but you know, the employees. Oh, they the just employees! Yeah. Up and close yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I feel bad. Anybody. I feel bad for the customers. I feel bad for you. I, it's just, it's a bad all around. It was. But, it was a bad but rap. You're bringing your devices, and these devices have our pictures, our family pictures, our documents, our very, very th things that are important to you. Bet the company that you're bringing your computer to for to get repaired. Look at the track record. You can't always judge a book by its cover, by its Google reviews, because a lot of Google reviews can be manipulated. So you or want bot. or bought. So you want to look at, you know, call, ask your friend. Um, you know, you you know, ask ask your neighbor. Say, hey, you know what? I'm thinking about getting my computer fixed, and and I need an, a local company. Um, who do you use? And sometimes they give you the best advice if you just ask them. Don't ask them to fix it, because because. Don't ask them to fix it. You know, we want to, you know, those are your computers, that, those are your, that's your data, your information. You want to make sure you take it to a place that's secure, that's not gonna, you know, gonna keep your stuff safe. So, um, ask your neighbor, ask your pastor, ask your significant other, ask the person at the grocery store, and say, hey, 
what's a local place I can take my device in to get fixed? Because we just don't fix computers, Kat. Some people think we just fix computers. Well, we do a lot more than that. We do game consoles. We do um, logic board repair. We do liquid liquid damage. So if you happen to spill some liquid into your laptop, into your computer, um, you know, tablet or whatever, um, don't put it in rice. We found it out, right? Rice. We we did a whole segment on rice, right? We did a three segment, a three day segment on rice to let you guys know that rice doesn't work. It doesn't fix your device if you drop it in liquid. Um, the rice was starting to smell after it can days. help absorb the liquid, but the liquid will hit the capacitors, hit the board, and that brings oxidation, corrosion, and those devices, those those little components have to be cleaned individually. So rice can't clean it. Um, so that's an urban legend that we broke. So put that in. You just put that in the shelf, put it away, to say, okay, if something happens, I'm going to make sure I power it down and take it to the nearest, okay, most trusted computer repair service out there in your area. And I'm talking about local. Keep it local. Keep it IT. See you later. Uh, see you uh, next week, right, Tuesday? Yeah, so we got a new addition here at Computers Plus, where, so we can't wait to introduce him to, to you, you guys. And uh, he's a tech. He does some awesome things. We'll put some pictures of some of the work that he's done in the past as far as custom builds and see what you guys think about it. Um, so trusted IT, trusted company, make sure that they have um, something like say, hey, okay, I'm going to bring my computer here. How are you going to communicate with me? Because there's, in technology, we have to try to be ahead of the game, right? We, or at least be out there, right? So we communicate with you guys via email, via text, and phone call. We, get, we have three options on how we can communicate with you guys. And we just got a computer here from another state, right yesterday, right from another state. No, no, um, no. Uh, it was um, further in Georgia. Oh, further in Georgia. But yeah. but I know we we have in the past fixed computers from other states when our broadcast yes. has reached out to different segments. Uh, we've gotten some computers in from different states needing board level repair, needing different um, issues. Um, we are launching our store. I'm so excited, Kat, for our online store that is happening like Friday, right? We're launching it. It's already there. So if you go to computersplususa.com, uh, you can look at the products that we have, make some purchases. We are offering. We are. We are offering a different type of um, um, payment option, right? Yeah. Payment option, cryptocurrency. We're offering cryptocurrency, cash app. So we are again. Moving in the line of involvement and improvement, and so we're trying to make sure because each customer doesn't have a credit card. Some people don't do rent to own. Some people have Cash App. Some people have Zelle, Venmo, cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. I'm so excited about the cryptocurrency. I'm like, oh wow, we're taking crypto. So you know, there are things. And actually, fun fact, cat. Over. Are you a, what? Are you a millennial? Are you Z X? What are you? A. I'm 84. No, but your generation, so your generation X, I believe. You're not a millennial. You're generation X, or Z. Can't figure that out. Uh, let's She's gonna see. figure it out. She's gonna Google it. We'll Google it and we'll figure it out. I'm generation X, circa 65 to 85. Yes. So you're generation X. So that means that did you would you know that 57 percent of generation X use cryptocurrency? Oh, I can believe it. So, so, so that's that's important. And 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 now Z, the millennials, they're like at forty six percent, but fifty seven percent is using cryptocurrency. So we made a decision that we're gonna start accepting cryptocurrency because sometimes people want other options, and that's what we're about, Kat, right? Creating options in technology. And we're not the only business that does it either. No, we're not. Like a lot. Of I think we're the only computer company that's gonna be doing it though, because I looked at Best Buy; they don't do it. Microsoft doesn't do it. We'll be doing Coinbase, Bitcoin, um, so we'll be able to accept those fairly soon. Um, but we are still doing the rent to own, and if you want information on that, just go on our website, computersplususa.com, uh, click our purchase options, and gives you all the options as far as our rent to own. I think we're working out with six vendors, right? Six, we work with mm -hmm. Snap, Asima, uh, yeah, we work with six, um, Progressive, oh, Kathy, American, we work with a great vendors so they're really stepping up and, and getting you guys the help that you guys need so you guys get the tech that you guys need so you can move forward 
wherever we need to go. So vet the company that you are going to get your computer repaired. Because nobody wants to be able, you know, you take your computer there and you're like, okay, it's been there for five days and I haven't gotten a phone call or even an email and even a text. I, we communicate with you almost all the time. Some of our customers say, you know what, you guys talk too much, right? I'm, and you know, I love your emails, but you communicate too much about my computer. I just want to fix. I'm like, well, you know, this is our process that we do. We just like to keep you guys informed of each and every step. And, and, and so, so I'd rather give you too much than not give you enough. So check on their process and how are they communicating with you guys? Because sometimes people are at work, Kat, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys are able to text me. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you guys were able to email me because I'm at work and I can't take phone calls. So um, that's so vet the company, see what their see what their response time is, and also see if they and, and here's a big thing, Kat. We've been in business for now 14 years. There's a lot of computer companies out there that um, are great, do great work, and there are some that have closed and that are out of business. Unfortunately, um, simply Mac. We're going to go back to Simply Mac. Best Buy off of um, Kyle Parker shut down. Um, every tech is different that works for a company. And I know one of our things is we do not go into back, like tech bashing or, or like store bashing. We're not going to go that route. We're not going to play that route. Um, I know a lot of people do that. They like to see the, the McDonald's and Burger King go at it and, and or Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But your stuff is too important to us to get into those um, antics. So we don't, we don't want to say anything bad about any company out there. Um, we let the customers say the bad stuff, right? If, if someone's not happy, and you can't make everybody happy, make everybody happy, they'll let their friends know. It's not our job to say, oh, you took it over to there, or you took it over to there. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to play that game. Um, we're about professionals, and we want to keep the, the subject on you and your device. So if you have a horror story, although we may listen to it um, and we will hear it, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get onto the bashing of any company because that's just not gonna move anybody forward, right, Kat? Yeah. Right? Doesn't, it doesn't forward. help the person. No, it doesn't help the person. Yeah, right. No one. Knows. Oh, this company, that company. Oh, this company. No, we're 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 just gonna offer what we can offer and then give any advice that we possibly can give you, um, and that's that vet the company you're with or you're going to go to and look at the track record make some phone calls and then hopefully you have a great experience like the people here at Computers Plus we try to give everybody a great experience when they come into Computers Plus speaking about experience you're supposed to say what? Oh, see I'm waiting sorry. for the cues she's like multitasking she says I have ADD she's like multitasking I got GS. GSD, not ADHD, I, I got GSD, getting stuff done, okay, so a Halloween costume, co costume, it's a tongue twister, and you had a problem with that in Carsville, I saw you when you were saying Halloween costume co contest, I was like, aha, it wasn't just me, we're having a Halloween costume contest, we've been having it for the past years, like 14 years, so this year, we are giving away three prizes, Apple computer, Windows computer, and a tablet. Yes, so we are raising the stakes. And we're not just doing it here. Carsville's doing it as well. So whether you're at, now look, we're gonna take pictures of you guys, so I, I'll go down to Carsville and then go to Aquid and double my chances. Hey, you know what, hey, you get one entry, all right? One entry, right, Kat? Yes. Right, one entry, okay. So, so, double my chances, double my chances. Um, so, <laughs> that was, you guys, like, I remember last year, we had somebody that came in, and, um, no, they didn't come in, they actually sent a picture, and they said, hey, here's my Halloween costume, I, I can't come in, here it is, and I was like, I saw that picture on Google, and that's not you, but, you know, so, we need you to come in, in your Halloween costume, and a lot of you guys have, like, costume parties at work, right, you know, you're ready, so, so just, Stop in, snap a picture. You may want a laptop, you may want a tablet, you may want something for your kids. You, it may, you may want to even re-gift it. You, know, you might come in and win and say, oh my gosh, I was going to get my daughter a laptop. I got this great laptop, I'll give it to her. You know, So you could even re-gift it. So come in in October. 
anytime and let's give away some tech stuff cat we want to give it away because it doesn't make sense to have it here on the show so i'd rather give it to somebody and let them get some use out of it than you know it just Especially go land up in a landfill and these things don't break down easy speaking of landfill simple electron recycling located at 3473 cherokee street will recycle any device that you guys have or as laptops phones printers um, they do charge for TVs, but they're open from 9 to 4. So if you have any devices that you've got, you know, you, you, you've had enough of your cells, you know, you have computers, and you're like, look, I know these things don't break down easy. They just don't. Um, there's a lot of chemicals that are built into the motherboards, processors, so they have to be recycled responsibly the right way. And so EPA actually encourages upcycle. So upcycle is a great thing that we would, that we did during COVID, Cat. Remember during COVID, yeah. um, we had um, uh, um, Cobb County schools reach out to us because uh, they had a lot of underprivileged kids that didn't have computers. So we were able to get them some computers next to nothing. Based, some were free, some were like twenty. Like we basically we did them at one twenty five or, or even or you know, even lower cheaper. because I know we gave away like twenty of them. Yeah. And we just, you know, said, Actually, hey. Actually, no, we gave away more because the help with the community. They oh, yeah, the help with the community. You guys, oh, my gosh, if you're watching this podcast and, and you else. dropped off a computer for us to, to, to give it to an underprivileged kid, you deserve a standing ovation. I mean, and a lot of, a lot of you guys were anonymous, and you just said, oh, I don't want to, no, I, don't, I just want I just want to give it to someone that's going to help because even cell phones, we get them to different people in different countries and different places. Women's that may, shelters, too. Women's shelters as well that may need to you know need that that leg up that boost to get out of the situation that they're in and which is why we do the food drive as well so you know we do food drives here every day um so if you want to get a discount off of your repair bring in some canned goods you want to get a discount off of your sales bring in your canned goods or if you just want to do something and you just have a lot of canned goods and you just want to you know feel like you're doing something great for your community Bring it by Computers Plus or bring it by your local church and drop off some canned goods because people are hungry every single day and, and, and they need help. People need help every day, right? It's not just during the holidays or during Thanksgiving, but it's every single day. People are hungry every single day and they go without food. And I think what what's the, what's the statistics, Cat? How many um, people are considered starving in America? I think it's insane what that number is. Good old Google. But I remember like years ago, it was like, it was over like 40% at one time. It was, 34 it was million people. 30, 34 million. And how many people are in the United States? No, that is the United States. Well, well how many population? We got 333 million. So basically 10% of our population. Including, including that is 9 million children. 9 million children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the percentage of the American population is 3.8 percent. 3.8 percent. So that's better. We went down, but there's still a lot of people out there hungry. And then during this economy, with the recession, with the um, with uh, the recession, with inflation, um, I know us as a business, we have reduced our prices. Where some places have changed them, we reduce our prices because we know this is, the, the, you know. We have been so blessed from our from our community. We like to be able to give back. So we got some great deals on some laptops, um, i5, i7s, um, some X carbons, some Apple laptops. I think we really are, are cut prices there because it's important. And we found out during COVID that tech is important. And our goal is to upcycle that. So we were able to get that to people's hands. And I'm just excited to always talk about it. So I can talk about it forever. But so thirty, so so three point four million, how much? Thirty million people are going through starvation. So guys, thirty yeah, thirty four million. Thirty four million. million. We got a basket percent. outside. I love to see it overflow with canned goods and with food through our community because that it goes back into our community. And again, it doesn't have to be here. It can be at a, at, at your local church, um, um, somewhere where you know it's going to go to the best hands, and that's feeding families. Cat. Halloween costume contest. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Uh, the red dot sale at Cartersville. Cartersville is doing something crazy insane. They're having a red dot sale. 
insane. Now, I mean, insane. We're, insane. We're like, okay, we got to jump on this. We, 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 we got to jump on this. But it's so insane. The Red Dot sell. Check out the savings. Some $100 off a product. I mean, they are having a Red Dot sell. And what that means is you guys get the best deals and the best tech for the best prices. So when you see Computer Plus do a Red Dot sell, call your friends and say, hey, let me go down there and see what they got. Because I might, mine's a little on the fritz. And I, and I heard they give money for my old tech. So if I can give my old tech and get some new tech, then I'm all good. So check out Carsville, the Red Dot sale. Go in there. They got Red Dots on different products in there. You guys are going to be surprised at those prices. They are just insanely great. So Red Dot sale, Food Drive, Hossum Costume Contest. Bet the company that you take your computer to. Bet the company you take your computer to. Or repair. We're open six days a week. Some companies open four days a week, five days a week. Remember that if a company's open five days a week, that's a day down. And I know sometimes having a day down in tech, you can't be down for too long because your life, sometimes your business depends on it. So that being said, I'm going to exit out in this high pitched voice because I got to go down and fix some more computers. So I'll see you soon. My name is Terrence. Hey, hey. We're Computers Plus in Aqua, Georgia. Don't forget our location in Carsville and Kennesaw as well. Like this page and share it with a friend if you get a chance. Have a great day. God bless.